Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make this tiny diamond squishy from the movie Trolls. Yeah, yeah! Tiny diamond is my name! Diamond from my daddy's name! My whole body's made of glitter and I'll throw it in your face! The first thing we're going to make is the head. So you'll be needing a piece of memory foam that is 2 by 2 inches. And you want to cut that into the shape of a ball. Then you want to flatten the top of the head and that's because we're going to be putting another piece of foam on top. Next, I got another 2x2 two two inch piece of memory foam and I'm going to draw out where the hairline is. Then I'm going to cut that portion out and this will just help make it easier to glue down the hair. You can see that the two pieces fit together perfectly now. Then I'm going to give a little texture to the hair and to do this, all you have to do is cut a bunch of lines. I use Fabric Fusion to glue down the hair, but you can also use Puffy Paint. Next for the ears, you want to cut a shape of a heart and cut it in half. I'm going to glue these down with Puffy Paint. The body is going to be 2 inches by one and a half, And I'm going to cut this into a cylinder. To shape the legs, you want to cut out the middle portion. Then I'm going to cut a dent in between the body and the legs so that the legs are more visible. To do this, all you have to do is cut in a U shape and you could trim down the legs a little bit if necessary. Next, I'm going to create the feet and to do that, I cut out a portion from the front and a portion from the back. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So this is how the body looks right now and as you can see the body is still a little too big so I'm going to trim that down. For the finishing touches of the body, I'm going to create the toes. After you're finished shaping the body, you can glue that to the head. I also created the arms and glued those on. To make the arms, you want to cut two ovals and cut in a diagonal line. For the nose, I drew it out with Sharpie and then I cut that out. Now it's time to paint your squishy, so I'm going to paint this entire thing silver. I'm using a metallic silver color, but if you don't have this color, you can also mix black and white to create gray. After the first layer dried, I also added a second coat. This step is optional, but for the last coat, I'm using a glitter puffy paint, which is just silver paint with glitter. Tiny Diamond is very sparkly, so this gives a nice finishing touch. Then you want to paint the hair white. I'm going to paint the nose green and then stick that on with silver puffy paint. Now we're going to paint the face. So for the eyes, you want to paint two white circles. After that dries, you want to paint two smaller black circles. And at this point, you can also draw the mouth and the eyebrows. And finally, you want to finish the eyes with two white dots. I also drew the tooth and earrings with the white puffy paint. The final step is to make the glasses. So I'm using a transparent binder folder and I'm going to draw two squares for the glasses and cut that out with scissors. You also want to cut out a small arch on the bottom of the glasses so that it can fit on top of the nose. And finally, we have our finished tiny diamond squishy. It's very sparkly from the glitter paint and slow rising as well. 
Thanks for watching this video and subscribe and like to Peacock Kids for more great videos. Bye! Hey guys! Today we are doing a DIY squishy of Queen Barb's Pet Bat Debbie. There you go, calm down, who's a good boy? What is that thing? This has a super soft texture because of the wool and it's also slow rising. So let's get started with the tutorial now. First, I'm cutting a block of memory foam that is about 4x4 inches into the shape of a ball. If you start with the cube and cut around the four corners, you should eventually get a circle. After cutting the ball shape, we're going to move on to the other body parts. It will be easier to trace out the body parts using a sharpie. After you draw out all the parts, you want to cut them out. If your foam is thick like mine, you can do a little trick which is to cut the foam in half and you will create two body parts. You can see that I created two feet now. So here are all the body parts cut out. I have the bat wings, the feet, eyes, and the nose and mouth. Now that all the pieces are ready, I'm going to glue it down with white puffy paint. You can also glue it down with school glue, but I recommend puppy paint because it dries a lot softer. After you assemble all your pieces, you want to let that dry for a day. Now I'm going to paint a base coat with white puppy paint. You also want to wait a day for this to dry, but if you want to speed up the process, you can dry it with a fan or hair dryer. If you want your squishy to be extra slow rising, you want to paint at least three layers of puppy paint. Now for my second layer, I'm going to paint it with the actual colors of Debbie the Bat. You can poke a toothpick into your squishy to make it easier to paint. I painted the feet with a grayish purple color. You also want to use the same color for the eyes, nose, and mouth. After the purple color dries, you can go ahead and start with the second layer of the face. Then I painted the wings black. I added a pink layer to the eyes and then a black and light blue color to the mouth. For the teeth, I squeezed out dots of puppy paint and used a smaller paintbrush to create the details. Then you want to use red and white puppy paint to finish up Debbie's eyes. This is how Debbie looks so far. I only used two coats of white puffy paint. Now I'm going to add Debbie's fur. And to do this, you will be needing felting wool. Felting wool is a type of yarn that you can find online or at your local craft store. You want to cut the felting wool into smaller pieces so that it's easier to glue. You will also be needing fabric fusion, which is a fabric glue. I'm going to spread the fabric fusion glue onto my squishy and then gently press the felting wool against the foam. This part is a little tedious and will take you a long time, but you want to make sure to put each piece carefully onto the squishy so it doesn't fall out later on. Also, don't worry if the wool is too long. You can always trim the wool after you glue down all the pieces. Now Debbie the Bat has too much fur, so I'm going to trim down the fur with scissors. After that, you have your finished Debbie the Bat squishy. You can adjust the squishiness of your foam by adding less paint or more paint if you want it to be slow rising. Thanks again for watching this Trolls DIY squishy tutorial. Keep an eye out for more DIY squishies here on Peacock Kids. Bye! Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make this penny whistle squishy out of memory foam. 
All of the materials will be listed in the description box, so without further ado, let's get started. To start off, I cut a piece of memory foam that is about 9 inches tall and 2 inches wide, and I'm going to cut that into the shape of a cylinder. I did this by cutting the four edges of the rectangle. Now that I have a cylinder, I'm going to start shaping the details, and to help me out, I drew a line across the places that I needed to cut out with a sharpie. Here is a reference photo of Penny Whistle. Right now, I'm cutting the top and I'm going to work my way to the bottom. Next, I'm going to slim down the bottom half of the foam because if you look closely, Petty Whistle has a larger frame near the top. You also want to round off Penny Whistle's head by cutting in a slightly diagonal angle. We're almost finished shaping the foam. The last bit of detail is to cut out two triangular dents. The first one is on the top and the other one is going to be on the left side. The squishy should look something like this now, and we can move on to the painting process. The type of paint I'm using is called puffy paint in the color gold. This is a special type of paint that dries flexible, so the paint won't crack when you squish it. I'm spreading the paint with a paintbrush, but you could also use a popsicle stick or use your hands. If you do use your hands, make sure to wear a glove like I did. Most of the puffy paint will soak into the sponge for the first layer, so right now the color of the paint looks more brown than gold. You want to apply at least 3 layers of paint so that all the holes in the memory foam are covered, but don't forget to let each layer dry before moving on to the next layer. It typically takes anywhere from 8 to 24 hours for the paint to dry, but you can speed up the drying time by using a hair dryer or placing the squishy next to a fan. Here's the squishy after 3 coats of paint. It's much shinier and gold now, and putting more coats of paint also makes the squishy more slow rising. Afterwards, I'm going to paint Penny Whistle's face. I'm drawing two circles using white puffy paint and a toothpick. Then I'm painting on a cute smiley face and eyebrows with brown puffy paint. You want to take your time on this because you can't fix the face if you make a mistake. I drew eyelashes with black puff paint and I'm also going to use that to draw the holes on the bottom half. And finally, I'm going to finish up Penny Whistle's eyes using blue paint, and then follow up with two white dots. So here's the finished squishy. It's very slow rising, and it has a nice shiny gold finish. Thanks again for watching this DIY squishy tutorial, and don't forget to keep an eye out for more awesome tutorials here on Peacock Kits. Hey guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable cupcake squishy from the movie Trolls. Uh, cupcake? So it's really slow rising and scented like vanilla, so it smells like an actual vanilla cupcake which I think is super cool and I'm really excited to show you all how to make it so without further ado, let's just get started! First, I'm going to make the cupcake base. So I'm cutting a piece of foam, and I'm using memory foam by the way, into a rough circular shape. And then I'm going to cut inwards sort of at a slant, since one end of the cupcake base needs to be smaller than the other end.
And since the cupcake base is a little tall right now, I'm going to cut it down so it's a bit shorter. And then I'm just going to continue trimming the foam until it has a smooth surface. Once I'm happy with the cupcake base, I'm going to use it to size how big the top of the cupcake should be. So I'm going to take another piece of memory foam and cut it into a circle. And then I'm going to start rounding off the edges. And the shape that you want to achieve is basically a rounded dome. And don't forget to round off the bottom edge. So now that the top portion is complete, I can see whether it's proportional to the cupcake base. And you can definitely see how everything is starting to come together. But there's still one more element to go, and that is the cherry on top. So I'm taking a scrap piece of foam and trimming it until I get a super round shape. And here is the finished shape, and again, I'm just placing it onto the cupcake to confirm whether it's the right size, and I think everything looks pretty good, so I'm going to move on to painting everything. So the type of paint I'm using is puffy paint, also known as dimensional fabric paint. So to paint the cupcake base, I'm going to mix red and white until I achieve a hot pink color, and I'm just using a toothpick as my mixing tool, but you can use a popsicle stick or a paintbrush if you'd like. And to apply the paint to the foam, I recommend wearing gloves to stop the puffy paint from getting on your hands. To paint the cupcake top, I'm going to use the leftover paint and add some more white in order to achieve a lighter, more pastel pink. And this is just going to be the first coat of paint, by the way. Now to stick the two pieces together, I'm going to actually use the rest of the puffy paint and just spread it onto the cupcake base. And puffy paint actually works really well as a glue, but of course you can use regular glue if you'd like to. And I'm just going to carefully position it in the center. So once I've done that, I'm going to paint the second layer onto the cupcake top, and I'm adding this vanilla fragrance oil. And this stuff is really strong, and in fact 4 drops is a little much, so you really only need a couple of drops for the scent to come through. Now, while the paint is still wet, I'm going to add this sparkly iridescent glitter all over the top of the cupcake. After that, I'm simply going to paint the cherry red. So this cupcake has dried for several hours, and now I'm going to add the icing detail. So I'm mixing some green, dark blue, and white paint together to create a nice turquoise shade. And I'm just going to add it on top and basically make a flower shape with six petals. And in this case, a toothpick works really well for fine details. And finally, before the paint dries, I'm going to add the cherry on top. So here is the finished vanilla scented cupcake squishy, inspired by trolls. And it's so slow rising and fun to squish, so I hope you all can give this DIY a try. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more great videos. Bye!